Hello everybody! I know I haven't posted a video in a while, but I'm gonna try to post videos weekly now. And today I'm gonna review a book that I just finished like five hours ago. And it is... How to Tame a Beast in Seven Days. I recently got back from vacation a couple weeks ago, and on vacation I finished a series. So I had the first book for since I was like in high school. I got it for free. It was, um how to marry a millionaire vampire and like back then I thought the book was cool but I never bought the second book and I've reread it like a hundred times and I was finally like I'm gonna read the rest of the series and I ended up reading the whole series on my three week vacation and that's like a lot of books there's like at least like 18 I think a lot and I read all of them and I fell in love with the author, Carolyn Sparks, if you've never heard of her. She's a romance and the one I read it was just like a romance vampire series. And it reminded me a lot of uh, Lindsay Sands. And so it's like, it's a series but each book's about a different character. But they like combine because they all know each other in a way and stuff. It's very interesting. And this one is about these people called the Embraced and they're like magical beings so there's like normal people and then there's the people who are born embraced who have like magical powers like the main character is called the Beast and he has this lightning power and supposedly if he touches people he'll kill them so he has to wear like gloves and stuff and everyone's scared of him and nobody wants to marry him and the main character, she has to masquerade as her sister who recently died, who's her twin. And the main character had actually didn't know she had a family until it happened. And her sister was betrothed to this guy. And now she has to marry this guy in her sister's place. And it was very, it was really cool. I really liked it. And I'm definitely going to be picking up the second book. I would give it a, I don't know, I don't want to, I don't want to give it a score. It was just awesome. I don't like giving book scores, but I'm definitely going to keep reading Carolyn Sparks. She's one of my favorite romance authors now, and she's just really funny. I mean, even on Twitter, she loves K-dramas. I like K-dramas, so automatically I love her, and she's pretty awesome. You read this book if you like romance, which is fantasy, sci-fi. It's really interesting. Even if you don't like romance, I mean, there's only like one really steamy scene is what I would call it and actually there's a couple they're not till like the last like this section of the book so I guess don't read that section of the book you can just skip over them if you don't want to read romance so I would definitely pick it up if I were you you know it's the holidays you can request it and yeah overall it was really good so you should go read it okay until next time go follow me on Twitter and Instagram and click that like button and subscribe button and soon you'll see more videos from me. Bye!